Gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we got something we want to talk about. Now you're going to be hearing that because that's the, it's the desk. It's a touch desk where it can sense somebody's, I always feel like somebody's touching my desk. Okay, and so every time I hit a certain spot, so I'll put something over it for now, but it doesn't matter because it still senses my the heat of my palm print. Um, but either way, that's what the noise is for. So if you're hearing it during the video, you now know why that tis. That's right, I said tis. Uh, my country tis. Okay, uh, now you understand. All right, we got some music I'm gonna be playing in my background because you know, that's what I do. And while we play a little bit, this, this ain't who you think it is, uh-uh. This is somebody singing in front of Whitney. That's right, it's Deborah Cox, everybody. The one who they tried to pit against Whitney, but they actually turned out to be pretty good friends. And she's gonna talk about sharing. All right, you guys are not gonna hear it as loud as I hear it, so just understand that. I got a couple of minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to talk to you about spot trading and cryptocurrency. Right now, there is a lot going on. So I'm getting ready to do something that hasn't been done before. I'm getting ready to intervene in the case that the SEC has filed. But what I'm about to do is I'm about to let this play what I've written. Okay, I've asked it to do a summary. Let's see if it's going to read it. I can't hear it, so let's see if we can turn the volume up, see if we can hear it better. I didn't hear anything, so I'm upset with that. Let's see if we can do that again. All right, there's a volume thing, because uh, it ain't speaking, and it's supposed to be speaking by now. Probably wants me to refresh it. I ain't gonna refresh it. Basically, uh, you know how the courts always try to say gobbledygook, and that's junk, and we don't understand it? Apologies for the mix-up. I'll continue in English. The petition further points out that the class properties, our coins, have been affected by an order for an accounting which prevents them from accessing their funds for personal and household necessities. The SEC's injunctive relief request against Binance has allowed the company to continue its operations but has left the customers without access to their funds. You see, they called us, the court called us, the customers. I don't mind if somebody tries to beat me to the punch, coming in as a class, because that's why I'm doing a video. I've been talking about this for a week and a half now. I'm, the documents will be filed tomorrow. They'll be sent to the court tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, why am I doing this? Well, what happened is that Binance is one of the largest companies out there that deals with the exchange of cryptocurrencies. So the SEC says that because they operate an exchange, they are brokers. And because they're brokers, they need to be registered with the SEC because the, you know, the Securities Exchange Act is what defines what a broker is and what a broker is not. Ladies and gentlemen, no, that's not the case. They're not operating as brokers. They're operating as exchanges between peers. It is a peer-to-peer -peer network. That's all it is. I'm buying coins, and I get to watch my coins being traded on the network, but I'm buying from a specific party from the platform. Sorry, i got to get rid of that. Now, let me show you all what's going on here. This right here was bought at 96, uh, 93 cents a share on average. So let's say a dollar on average. That's... Pay attention, $4,999 per share multiplied by whatever percentage that they're talking about. That's how exponential that is. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me tell you what that's trading at so that you'll understand what I mean by per share. It's trading at over, I think it's $19 now, $18. It was over 20 the other day which is okay. See, 1912 is where it got to today, but it's trading at $18 right now. Multiply 18 by a dollar. That's all you gotta do. 
Now, multiply that 18. Let's make it 20. Let's just average it out. Multiply that by 5,000. Multiply 5,000 times 20. Okay, and that's how much this equates to in funds. We'll talk about it in a second. We'll, we'll do the breakdown in a second so you guys will know. You will know. Troubles all you know. All right. This one right here. This is the BRY coin. This is the, the, the platform coin. That's the coin that they've made stable as a result of us letting our funds stay in that coin. That is, as you see, $9,800. So let's just round it up to $10,000. All right, you, you want to do that because it's $9,800, only $150 more. So let's make that ten. Let's make that ten. We're going to go here. And we're going to go right here so that you guys will see. We're going to multiply 10 times 26, 260. Now, watch this. 260, got that because 260,000 is what it will equate to. Ladies and gentlemen, that's without the bonus because if it gets to $30 a share, that triples from its original offer which will be over $400,000 for us. Okay, now, that's that one. Hold on now, we got this this last one, BMI. This was purchased, and this was uh, BM, uh, BMI, Barry, was purchased at $1.50 a share. It's now $26 a share. So now you multiply that by $1.50, and then you multiply it by the total amount that we have, which is almost 10000 and that's where we're sitting at now. Now this one, same thing. This one, the BMI was, you know, I forgot what price BMI came in at. I think this one, this was a dollar fifty. I forgot what BM. This was thirty dollars a share. Whew. Sorry that it took me so long to get that. All right, BMI was thirty dollars a share. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now at one hundred and seven dollars a share. And we just have to get to 150 and then that's exponential so that's what spot trading is all about I know I know it was difficult for me to understand this at first either I didn't think I'd be doing this every single day but now I'm doing it every single day do I know everything about it no 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 I don't know everything about it but as I told you all I've donated the funds to the company these are not my funds but we have by the end of the day it'll be four months this Friday, I believe. No, it won't even be four months. Hold on. It came in in April, May, June, July. Sorry, it'll be three months <laughs> this coming Friday. Uh, well, this coming Saturday, actually. Well, actually, this coming Sunday, now that I think about it. Huh. Well, technically, no. It's three months as of yesterday, because I just realized April, May, June, and July that will be four months I said three months no because uh, you can't you got to count all of April so uh, May June July so it's only three months ha <laughs> ha I was adding April and I shouldn't have been so three months because July isn't over with yet three months six hundred thousand dollars and because of the lawsuit that the government had with Binance let me show you guys the lawsuit this is not the lawsuit this is uh, a different one let's see Nope, not that one. Not that one. I don't know where the lawsuit is, y'all. I had it up here. Oh, well, we're going to have to skip the lawsuit. There is a lawsuit, y'all. There is a lawsuit that the SEC filed. And when the SEC filed that lawsuit, uh-oh, there's a problem. There's not supposed to be any money there. Dag nabbit. I got to take care of something, y'all. I got to go. It didn't take care of my business. No wonder... It's shorter than what it's supposed to be. I gotta go. There is something I forgot to do. Uh.